In this video, we're going to look at the image tag. The image tag allows us to embed an image into our web page like such. The image tag requires a source attribute with the value being the location of the image you would like to link to in the web page. We can use a file that is stored on the local machine. For example, I'll create a folder called first website and move the file we have previously been working on inside of it. This folder will now act as the root directory for our web page project, meaning any and all files we need to run our website will be organized within this single root folder, the first website folder. Now within this folder, I'm going to add an image of some nice mountains. Notice the image is a JPEG named mountains. Going back to our code now, let's add the file path of the mountains image as the value of the source attribute. We'll put dot forward slash since it's in the same directory and the name of the file mountains.jpg or jpg. Don't forget the file extension jpg. You can also use png or gif files with the image tag as well. If we save our file now and click the first website html file here to open it up in the browser, we can see our image was in fact embedded into the web page. Now going back to our code, let's add another attribute. This attribute is going to be the alt attribute. Whatever we set the value of this attribute to be will be what is displayed if for any reason the image linked in the source attribute cannot be loaded. A simple description works best here. For this example, I'll put mountains from a distance. This alt text is also used for accessibility reasons. For example, screen readers will read this text aloud to anyone interacting with the page that may be visually impaired. With that in mind, you can always make this more detailed. I'll go ahead and change what we have now to snowy mountain range in the distance with more vegetation covered mountain ranges layered in front. With that out of the way, let's also set the width and height of this image by using the width and height attributes. One last thing to look at is another option we have when linking an image. Instead of using a file that is stored somewhere local to our web page files, we can link to another image somewhere on the web using a URL. For example, I'll remove the file path of the mountains image currently embedded into the page and I'll add a URL of a picture of mountains I found on the web. Now I'll save the file and reload the page in the browser. And we now have an image whose link I copied from another web page displaying on our web page. I'll adjust the height and width to better fit this image and also adjust the alt text to better describe this particular image. Now you know how to embed an image into a web page.